What's up guys? Today we're heading back to the office. I gotta grab some stuff and there's some casting going on as well. So let's check it out. Weird to be out in this pandemic. Uh, most of us are working from home and I try to be at home as much as I can. But sometimes, you know, you just gotta go run errands and go back to the office. I apologize if the audio is bad on the camera because I don't have a mic at the moment, but I'm working on getting one. So let's go. right now but um, it's important to have casting as part of the process so let's go thank you it's on a selfie sometimes we do casting in person sometimes we don't we're filming a commercial that doesn't require acting or talent talking for camera we don't do uh, casting in person that much but for this particle project we're doing like a film narrative so we have to do casting in person Just to share a little bit on our casting process or rather the general casting process. Typically there are various kind of a project. We're actually doing a brand film uh, for a company and this brand film uh, requires some form of acting and dialogue in one way or another. So we require the talents that we shortlisted to come down, act out a portion of the segment that we've written in the script to assess whether they fit the role or not. In the past we have done also visual commercials, uh, what I call them, that we do not require physical casting, generally uh, getting a video from them would work as well. Speaking of visual commercials, usually work with models and uh, influencers for such projects. And this package is actually from a model slash artist. Her name is Lauren Tsai. Most of you would probably know her from Terrace House. I've always like her art and in support of Black Lives Movement, I bought this uh, digital print. So let's open it. So I hope this gives you a little insight about a casting process. If there's anything you'd like to know, feel free to comment down below and I'll be sure to answer that. You light up my world. 